Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a little while since you saw a video from this fine creator that you see before you today. I'm doing another tube-related video today, and while I don't think it'll be the main topic of videos on this channel, it will probably become much more frequent, as I can confidently say that I'm a lot more interested in this than Bed Wars. Without any further delay, let's get started, shall we? So today marks the official public opening day of Elizabeth Lime, which is actually its name now, No More Crossrail. You may have seen the Queen open it on May the 17th, however that was not for the public and doesn't really matter to us normal civilians. Services run between 6.30am and 11pm from Monday to Saturday. Frequency of trains and duration of service is expected to increase as they finish the final touches of their line. It will not be open on Sunday so that they can continue to do maintenance. The only exception of this that we currently know about is the special service operating on Sunday the 5th of June between 8am and 10pm for the Platinum Jubilee weekend. The line is currently split into three segments, one from Reading to Heathrow and Paddington in the west, the second going through the centre of London from Paddington to Abbey Wood in the southeast via Liverpool Street, and the third going from Liverpool Street to Shenfield. All of these are expected to be merged into one long seamless track in May 2023, and this is what it's expected to look like on the tube map when it's done. On the screen now is a diagram of the Elizabeth Line showing clearly what zones it goes through. Before we move on, the Bond Street station on the Elizabeth Line will still be closed for a little while longer because it's fallen by on schedule by a couple of months. In other news, the brand new tube app was released on the 19th of May with lots of minor changes such as the Beckton branch of the DLR changing from diagonal to straight and the Richmond branch of the Overground doing the exact opposite and changing from straight to diagonal. The main feature of this new map though has to be the absolutely ground-breaking innovation that is the IKEA logo. This will change London travel for generations I'm telling you right now knowing that instead of sites like Big Ben and Piccadilly Circus you can go to an IKEA. Just make sure that you're doing it at 5 in the morning just to avoid any remotely busy services. There is another change that that being the Elizabeth line changing colour and actually having the central part included however I don't think anyone actually cares because there are no IKEAs on the Elizabeth line so usage will be tanking in the coming weeks and obviously with the new tube app you best know I updated my Minecraft one on the same day it was released. Another fantastic piece of news is that the Moorgate to Kennington section of the Northern Line has finally reopened. It closed a few months ago to allow for maintenance to take place at Bank to widen the platforms. If I'm honest, I struggle to see why they picked Bank instead of Clapham North because that station is literally a death trap. The Bakerloo Line of the Underground has some of the oldest stock on the network, the 1972 stock, doing some very complicated maths. I've come to the conclusion that the Bakerloo Line trains are now 50 years of age. If you take the average of 111 million passenger journeys per year, then that means that there have been over 5 billion tube journeys made on the Bakerloo Line train. I don't really live near London, hence why the video clips used aren't mine. Full credit to those people in the description. These videos are going to be short and snappy ways to find out as much information about the tube as fast as possible, so if you did enjoy, then just make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Bye bye.